suppose that my finger is the blue nail so you want the chain to rest on the blue nail in this way yeah. yes so that if you yeah once you take the white nail off the chain would be in this position and so not really wrapping around and so it would it would fall down mm -hmm. right and you want the same thing to happen with the white nail so you would like suppose that this is the white nail you would like the chain to rest on the white nail so that once you remove the blue nail then the chain would fall down we can see more clearly how the chain wraps around the two nails if we draw the chain we see that it never makes a full circle around the white nail in fact it starts going clockwise, then it makes a kind of a U-turn, and then it goes counterclockwise. And in the same way, the chain doesn't wrap around the blue nail. You can also check that if we remove either one of the two nails, then the chain will untangle, and therefore the necklace will fall. Right, so now let's see what happens if we remove the white nail. It falls. Hey, that was, that was the solution. Yes, but you know how to replicate it. It goes all the way around here. Yeah. Rests there. Uh -huh. And rests here. Um. Yes, what this problem was about is how a loop untangles and actually there is an area of mathematics which studies knots and whether knots untangle or don't untangle and you might say how, why do I care about knots yeah. and <laughs> whether they can be untangled or not. But actually, this area of mathematics, uh, which is quite advanced, has got some applications to biology, for example, to the study of our DNA. And uh, also this part of mathematics studying knots has, uh, has also got applications to astrophysics to and in particular to the study of the sun yeah. okay so Hannah this week we have seen that we encounter math much more often than we think and sometimes where we never expect so I bet you were surprised that something we talked about was actually math yeah, I was definitely. I also was surprised to learn that people who are really skilled and good at maths and even really enjoy it also struggle sometimes when they're solving problems. Like I didn't realise that they would get stuck and maybe need a couple of goes to get something right. Yeah, actually, sometimes getting something wrong and making a mistake really helps you learning. There's definitely, there's lots of things that I, I didn't know that I've learned now and that, you know, maybe some areas of maths are even quite interesting, dare I say. <laughs> and maybe you didn't know they were math. No, I, I didn't. Now you need to admit that. Did you have fun this week? Like with maybe a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs>